Welcome to this BMC support walkthrough of the initial steps that you'll need to take to begin your onboarding journey. In this video, we'll cover the emails sent to initiate activation of your SaaS subscription, as well as the required information needed to get your environments created as well as provisioned. To begin, let's first take a look at the email required to initiate your activation. Shown on this screen is an example of the email that is needed to initiate activation of your BMC SaaS subscriptions. This will be sent automatically by BMC after the statement of work has been completed and signed and will be sent from the email address order underscore management underscore admin at bmc.com. The subject line for this email will read as initiate activation of your BMC SaaS subscription. For your convenience, both the subject line and email address are shown on the screen for you to refer back to should you be unable to locate this email within your inbox. This email will showcase your agreement number at the top, as well as highlight the agreed upon services that were purchased, their quantity, and their unit of measurement, such as if it's per concurrent user, per named user, or even per asset. Should you notice any discrepancies or inaccuracies in this information, please contact the sales representative you've spoken with previously within the sales journey to ensure that all information is corrected. Now, once you've had a moment to look over all information and have confirmed that everything you've purchased is shown as part of the service breakdown, we'll want to select the orange Get Started button shown towards the bottom of this email. Clicking on the Get Started button will now allow us to begin the next step of gathering required information necessary to begin activation and provisioning of your environments. We'll cover that together now. Registering your SaaS subscription is a quick and easy process. On the registration screen, you may be asked to validate acceptance of the SaaS services agreement before we can activate your subscriptions. This is the same agreement that was reviewed at contract signing. A fully executed BMC Cloud Services Master Agreement will supersede this click-through. You may also see a few questions about your desired technical environment. Here's more context on those questions. If you're answering for an add-on service to an existing BMC SaaS solution, please select the same data center and provide the same URL as existing implementation. If you're asked to provide a prefix to the domain name, this represents the URL that you want your users to see. It will be appended with .onbmc.com and a dev or test tag for those environments. For example, if you provide BMC as the company name, your URL would result in bmc.onbmc.com. Next, if you're asked to select a data center, there are some restrictions based on your specific order. Select US FedRAMP only if your order contains FedRAMP specific services. Select US Public Sector only if your order contains US Public Sector specific services. If you have special circumstances, select Other, and a member of the activation team will contact you. Note that certain products may have their own specific question for data center selection, such as Helix Discovery. Please note that these fields may not be prompted to you and you will only see these fields if they are required to be filled out as part of your SAS subscription registration form. If you've previously created a BMC customer support account and have access to Support Central, click the link in blue at the very top of your web page as shown in the example above. First, start by entering your first and last name into the separated boxes. Next, enter your email address into the box that follows. Please note that for your email address, you must use a company domain registered email address. Personal email inboxes should not be entered into this field. Once you've entered your email address, you'll now choose a password. Your password must meet a few criteria. First, it needs to start and end with some sort of character not a space. Next, it needs to be at least eight characters long and no more than 16 characters long. It also needs to contain at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one numerical digit. And finally, it needs to use one of the following special characters as shown on the screen. 
Once you've created a password, confirm it by entering that same password in the box shown to the right hand side of your web page. In the next field, you'll enter your phone number. This can be a mobile number or a landline. If your phone number utilizes an extension, enter that in the box to the right. Otherwise, leave that field blank if you do not use an extension with your phone number. Please note that your phone number must be at least nine digits and no more than 15 digits, contain only digits and numbers zero to nine or the special character plus or minus. Examples of these are shown for your reference. Next, you'll want to review the two documents shown, the BMC Cloud Services Master Agreement, as well as the Data Privacy Notice. Once you've had a moment to look them over and agree to the terms, click the box to show that you understand. We'll now provide technical information beginning with the preferred prefix to the URL domain name you'd like to utilize for your services. As mentioned previously, this represents the URL that you want your users to see. It will be appended with .onbmc.com and a dev or test tag for those respective environments. For example, a user entering callbro would be setting up their subscription as callbro.onbmc.com for their ITSM service. The prefix may not contain special characters, including dashes. This prefix can be your company name. If you're unsure of what you would put in this field, Consider entering your company name, as this is standard best practice for most customers. Lastly, we'll select our required language packs for Helix ITSM. If you need to select more than one of the available languages, on Windows, use the control key on your keyboard and click to select multiple language values. On Mac, use the command key and click to select multiple language values. Once you've selected all necessary languages, take a moment to review the form in its entirety and click the Submit option once you're ready to complete your registration. If you happen to encounter an error screen when interacting with the Get Started email that reads, an error occurred, this SaaS subscription has already been registered. Please contact customer support for further assistance. First, ensure that one of the members of your team have not already completed this setup. The Get Started form covered previously can only be completed once. If you did not complete the necessary information and have confirmed that no one else working on your team has completed this information as well, please contact customer underscore support at bmc.com for further assistance. For your convenience, that email address is shown above for your reference. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact customer underscore support at bmc.com. Congratulations on your journey ahead and welcome to BMC. Let's run and reinvent together.